Good morning and welcome to Escafia Online. This is Chef Thomas with an Italian specialty gnocchi. Uh, gnocchi is very simply the Italian version of a dumpling. And um, in the years, in the past, uh, the dumplings has evolved from using uh, farina uh, or flour to potatoes. So the potato gnocchi is a pretty much the most basic uh, gnocchi doughs that there are. Uh, and a very uh, specialty is that they are also always formed. <clears throat> they are actually rolled out uh, with your palm of the hand into sausages, cut in little pieces, and then actually made rigid in with a fork. And um, this is actually done to actually capture some of the sauce. Most Italian pasta, most egg pastas uh, you will see, they have some kind of uh, vessel or a way of holding sauce, besides maybe you know your linguine and your spaghetti and so forth. But if you look at rotini, if you look at uh, elbow pasta, <coughs> uh, macaroni and so forth, uh, penne pasta, some of them are rigatonis, they're like, they have rigids on them. All these rigids, all these forms have one uh, technique or one uh, fact, factor why they have them, that's to capture the sauce. Uh, sauces are very important in Italian pasta dishes. Um, without the sauces, the pasta would only taste half as good. So today we are going to focus on the uh, gnocchi making. So what I already have prepared is uh, all the ingredients. <clears throat> and we're going to go for all the ingredients first. So we have here um, potatoes. I, did, uh, I took about a pound of raw potatoes and boiled them. Um, with that, I strained them and I let them sit a little bit so that all the water evaporates from the uh, potatoes so we can mash them through the mash in a second. So about a pound of potatoes we did here. Um, we have clarified butter. We have uh, one whole egg and uh, it should be for this recipe about a half of a whole egg, so egg whites and egg yolks uh, mixed together. <coughs> then we have all-purpose flour, we only need about a half an ounce, but I took more because when we roll out, we want to make sure that we have enough uh, flour uh, when we need it. And then our seasonings, we have some salt, we have some nutmeg, and we have some white pepper. Now these are the ground, very basic uh, ingredients for gnocchi dough. What we do after the gnocchi dough is done is we actually add cheeses and uh, we can also add uh, herbs, um, you know, like maybe parsley or any um, basil, even spinach is very good in gnocchis. So we can do any of those. All right, so we have our cooked potatoes. <coughs> I have a very unconventional way of mashing those today. I actually took a big sieve and we have our potatoes. And I take a rubber spatula and actually mash those through here. The nice thing about that is they're going to get really nice and fine. You can use mealy potatoes. Uh, you can use red potatoes, uh, russet potatoes. You can basically use any kind of potato, but the mealy potatoes are definitely going to be the best ones uh, to keep the form and the shape and help you form a really nice dough. See, this goes very, very fast. that my, <laughs> my rubber spatula is crawling up my sleeve here. Okay, so here we go. I clean up the sides here. Don't want to miss anything. And obviously because we're going to add egg yolks and so forth, we need to make sure that that um, mix is not hot. If that mix is hotter than 120 degrees, what we're actually going to be producing is more uh, scrambled eggs in our, <coughs> in our uh, potato dough. And that's basically what we're making. We're making potato dough. So we have the uh, cut, boiled, drained mashed potatoes in our bowl. We're going to add uh, some of our salt now. Pinch of salt. A pinch of the nutmeg. Pinch of the white pepper. Now if you want to have it Spicy, you can add more, obviously. 
a little bit of that clarified butter. I figured out when I, I converted the recipe that it's actually only about a half an ounce. Uh, so this is really, really a very small amount. Half an ounce would be one tablespoon. <coughs> we have to make sure that that dough does not get too uh, liquid, otherwise we can't work with it, right? All right, and most important, we have the eggs. So I have um, one whole egg in there and one egg yolk. So I'm going to put about half in there and see how that dough um, comes together. And then also we're going to add some flour. Make sure that this is all nice incorporated. Now, for those who have made some other potato dishes already, you might actually uh, recognize that this Italian form of gnocchi is very close to a very classic French dish too, which is Duchesse potatoes. Uh, Duchesse potatoes is, again, nothing else than uh, mashed potatoes with your nutmeg, uh, with your salt and white pepper, and then you actually pipe it into a nice form, um, most of the time like kind of like a, like a little of a, a cylindric form, and then you bake that because the egg yolks, the, the egg protein is actually going to help it uh, solidify. We have a question. Is this also the same as Duchess pie? Duchess pie. Or Duchess pie. Oh, du du Duchess potatoes, yeah, that, Duchess. yeah du Duchess potatoes. I'm not quite sure Duchess pie, but yeah, whenever you can pipe the mashed potato with the egg yolk and you can bake it, that is very similar then to the gnocchi dough. Um, okay, so we have our eggs in here. Uh, what are we missing? Oh, the flour. Okay, we add some flour. When I converted the recipe, it was about uh, an ounce of flour. So now we're going to get this dough a little bit um, to a stiffer state again so we can work it. <clears throat> Add a little bit more here. So we need to get that, f that dough to be firm. <coughs> so we're going to keep adding flour to it until it's a firm dough so we can actually roll out our uh, gnocchis, our little dough balls here. Uh, just a little bit more. Also, the potatoes were still a little bit warm, so this makes it a little bit more tricky to roll out. But I think we are pretty much there. All right. You see it takes a lot of flour up here. Just to get this a little bit more stiffer and workable. All right, let's see if we can get some on our workspace. So we're going to put some flour on the cutting board. And I need a fork. That's what I forgot. cut about maybe an inch and a half. Now, it would have helped 
me a lot if I would have left the dough a little bit uh, to cool. But in the morning show, we don't have time for that. So, so this is my raw nok gnocchi, basically. So it's just a, a regular um, potato dough now with my egg and with my flour in there. So the rigids actually come by just running the, the fork through. So I can pick these all up. I can roll them out a little bit. I can take these edges away. And then I run my fork through. Or push down, that works too. What, what it really is important is that you make these, um, these rigids because that's basically where your, um, where your sauce is going to be caught. So my Italian, uh, my Italian uh, friends will probably say, well, you know, my, my grain mix is maybe a little bit different. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's different techniques on how to make the rigids. I've seen um, some special tools made out of wood to make these rigids in there, to run them through. I've seen cutting tools where the rigids are done the same time they cut. But technically, that is your technique of making the gnocchi. So very, very simple <coughs> to recap one more time. You make mashed potatoes, um, you make the potatoes rather dry, you add your eggs, um, one egg yolk, so let's say we have a pound of potatoes, one egg yolk, uh, one whole egg, take about half of that mixed together, then you take about, uh, I added probably about two ounces to three ounces of flour, all purpose flour, your white pepper, your salt, your nutmeg, um, about a half an ounce to an ounce of um, clarified butter uh, to give it a nice mouthfeel. And uh, that you're going to mix into a dough. Preferably you let that dough cool, then it's a little bit easier to work and not as sticky as mine was. Then you're going to roll it out into a, uh, into a foot long sausage. Um, cut about an inch, an inch and a half little pieces. That really depends on your uh, Hungry, uh, you know how big you want to make the gnocchis actually you can cut them smaller or larger and um, then you just pick these small pieces up roll them in your hand so you don't have these edges <clears throat> you run your fork through them and you drop them down and you either cool them now you know you can put them in the fridge and chill them and um, later take them out and put them in boiling salt water now when you cook them they will do something any other dumpling does too. When they're done, they will swim up to the top of the surface and uh, hover up there. And then they're ready to be uh, fished out with a spider. And you can serve them. We have another question. Uh, do you make it with sweet potatoes? And what would you serve with uh, gnocchi? Ooh, very good question. Can you make gnocchi with sweet potatoes? Yes, you can make gnocchi with sweet potatoes. <clears throat> Obviously. The texture is going to be a little bit uh, different, or actually not the texture, but the flavor is going to be different. It's going to be much sweeter. Um, now let's see, if I would do a sweet potato, you can probably still do a serve it with cheese, maybe some brown sugar, pecans, you know, something very similar we do for maybe a Thanksgiving dinner for the sweet potatoes. Um, the gnocchi itself are usually uh, served with cheese. If you're doing with sweet potato, maybe it's more, maybe you can do it towards a dessert. So sweet potatoes would be a very good idea. Yeah, if you try that, please you know, send us some pictures. I would definitely like to see those. Uh, again, <coughs> if you boil sweet potatoes, you mash them through a sieve, they should come out really, really nice on the texture side. So that should be no problem. Um, again, the rigids are important for the sauce. Which kind of sauce can you use for the gnocchi? Everything is possible here. So what I did at the end is um, I made some gnocchis. And uh, let me put those aside here and um, what I did is I sauteed some butter and um, I put some cheese on it uh, I put some Parmesan cheese on and uh, I had some uh, shredded cheeses like Colby and so forth and actually mixed this up with the uh, hot cooked boiled um, gnocchis and um, this would be a perfect dish by its own uh, actually, kids like this a lot. It's kind of a good, um, a good alternative to maybe mac and cheese. But this is definitely more of a side dish with your protein. Uh, which kind of protein? Pretty much anything. Uh, let's say if you make your lamb shanks or your rack of lamb, that would be probably a really nice side to have with them if you do your chicken breast assignment. 
gnocchi might be a really good idea too. Just something different than mashed potatoes and just plain simple rice. Um, and it really, it really didn't take too long. It was probably about 15 minutes we did this dough. So not, not a big, big deal. Um, if you have any other questions about making gnocchis and where you can use them and how you can use them, please feel free to call us and email us again. <clears throat> this will be obviously again available in the archive folder. Please don't forget that until the end of July, we still have this super competition going on with the uh, raffle tickets. Uh, each of your assignments worth a raffle ticket for an, um, an iPad mini. So please, please, please send us your assignments. Uh, work hard on your classes. We really want to see you graduate uh, this year. And um, as always, have fun cooking. If you have any questions, please call us or email us. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.